let's start with a little theory what we understand when we say a table. Uh, as you probably know, um, the table is a HTML element that contains a header, body, and footer in its usual form. Uh, in, in the same time, tables can be really various and uh, even a basic table like this that has just a table tag and uh, just table rows is also a uh, valid expression of the table. And uh, we are re we're trying to support all, all of its configuration, even though people are really getting really creative with this and building websites of yeah. all in tables. But uh, as Anton said, uh, the framework gives you the, the ability to extend it and uh, modify its usage. So even if you have a specific case in uh, your tables on the, test, on the website that you're, you're, you're testing, you can modify it and extend it to work in your scenario. Okay, but uh, <clears throat> uh, we mentioned tables and grids. What's the difference between a table and grid? The table is uh, well documented and it has some specifics and uh, specifications, but the grid is uh, something that uh, we often use but it's not, uh, uh, how to say um, Like, you know, the table is like, it contains usually static data, displaying the data. Maybe you can show the directly the demo web page. Yeah, what I mean is that uh, the table, is, uh, the grid is basically a table wrapped in a, another div or another HTML element that tells the framework pretty much generate a table in my container. And uh, the, the, whole, the whole thing is pretty much the same. It, it works like a table. Like, yeah, it's a table, but usually, as you will see in the example, uh, mm -hmm. these kind of tables, they, they are much more complex. Like they can have filters, paging, they can have like inside the cells complex HTML controls, such as text fields, button selects. They can be wrapped in one in the cell. You can have multiple gifts and spans. And in order, and we strive to, you know, create a complex control that can help you to automate all of these uh, different scenarios. And moreover, the difference between the table and the grid is that, as I mentioned, usually in the table you have this static data, uh, but usually in the grid you have this dynamic data that yes. is always different. And yeah. usually, sometimes it's easier to locate the different roles because, uh, you know. Sometimes you have these uh, unique identifiers, mm -hmm. but in some grids, you don't have unique thing that you can select the role. And this is where our solution can help. Yep. Yes, maybe we can uh, proceed with the demos there, uh, yeah. explaining this in a visual way. Yeah, sure. Yep. Okay, so I'll just really quickly go through a sample table that has just some headers. Uh, some rows with data with uh, different different it can be different uh, kind uh, like numbers emails websites whatever uh, while in the grid example uh, we have more functionality uh, the user is expected to interact with the grid and uh, enter a few of some some of the fields click the buttons maybe filter a column uh, stuff like that uh, what the, the framework gives you here is uh, it gives you an easy way to uh, find any element in the table and also interact with it. Yeah, without you know writing the some locators. Like you yeah. just find the table and then the framework is doing its magic. You don't need to like you, you can always like write a custom locator for the middle text field, but you need to you know if you need to interact with a different elements, you need to write a different locators. Yeah. And uh, we make this uh, much more easier. Yeah, much easier to use and uh, much more uh, maintainable. Uh, let's take a look, a quick look at our grid. It's really basic, but what we have here is uh, a few a few headers and columns that uh, use uh, row span. Also, one of the, one of the headers here uses uh, row span. Uh, and it displays email both personal and uh, business to the, uh, the our employees here. Uh, the other specific thing here is that this column order has input that can be typed in. Some of the some of the columns are just text columns, and then we have action buttons in this 
uh, in this last column. Uh, now what, what I'll do is uh, I'm going to show you the demos that we have for the grid and uh, you can easily use the same the same methods and the same uh, functionalities in, in any table. But uh, since we're limited in time, we only have time to show you one demo. Yeah, actually, as Nikki said, um, the table and the grid control, they are similar. However, the grid extends the table. But if you started to use, for example, the table with Craft as any feature in Bellatrix to, you know, to make the API and the method similar. And this means that the usage will be like almost identical, but yeah. the grid has more functionality. Yeah. Okay, so let's jump to the Visual Studio. Uh, what, we have now, what we have here is a simple uh, test class that uh, has one page. Using the page, the page object pattern, uh, we have also created a property that returns our grid control. What is specific here is how to uh, how you initialize and how do you define your grid. This kind of uh, definition here will help you uh, during when you're writing your tests and uh, will uh, save you a few lines of code uh, by configuring it, co configuring it properly. So what we have here, the first thing is to create an element by ID. This is the unique identificator of the, of the grid, of type grid, of course. And then we're using this set column method. It has a few overloads. Uh, the basic usage is just to specify uh, first name. What, what the, uh, that says is that you have a column that has a header with inner text first name. The other way to use it is to specify the column by its header name, but also say that you have in, in this column, you have, a, uh, you have a control of type text field. And how you find it? This is because, as mentioned, usually in grid controls, some of the particular cells, for example, where the text field is, it can be wrapped in multiple diffs or spans. And if you don't mention this, uh, you won't be able to, you know, use the functionality of custom to the text field. Yep. And as you can see, we are supporting all kinds of loca locators here. As in the actions column, we have this type of button and where you can when, where you can find it by XPath using this expression. This definition of the grid gives you an object that you can use in your test. Okay, so what we have here is uh, just a list of employees which represent our object or one row of the grid. This is our expected data. Yeah. Let's just collapse it. And uh, let's take a look at a few of the, of the options that we have that the framework is giving you to access any cell of the, of the grid. For example, you can, you can get a cell by, by using test grid property, get cell method, and specify the, what's the header name or the column that you, that you need to, to take and which row you're, you need. This will return you the cell where you can get its inner text and uh, assert its contents. And this is the basic you, usage. Yeah, the basic usage. And instead of, you know, using assert or equal, um, all of these like methods, etc., they support and ensure Bellatrix methods where uh, the syntax is, is really uh, more, much more simple than that. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, the other cool thing is that uh, you can preach uh, all the cells and uh, by using a function, you can do assertion or some other kind of action. This gives you really quick access to all, all the cells of the table. Uh, there are a few more ways to uh, interact with, with the cells and get them. But uh, let's take a look at one of the um, more interesting things. This is the casting of a cell as an object. What it does is you can get a cell by some expression, but uh, you're specifying that this is a property of an object. So you're saying get cell of employee, where the cell personal email is some value. Yeah. 
it's actually allowing you to dynamically filter by the different types. And actually, you can do uh, you have the same syntax for you know getting a sale by using directly. I don't know where this example is, but um, like interacting with the direct properties of, for example, the text field. For example, iterating through all the controls inside the table and say uh, if this is a text field, please check whether the inner text is equal to a particular value, and then the get sale method will return this is that cell where this particular text field is. Yeah. Maybe you can show um, the way how you can cast a cell to a particular element. Yeah, like here. I yeah, like the button. Uh, yeah, this is the, the other uh, option you, can, you have. Once you have the actions header, the action column, uh, you can cast it to a button and then use the methods that you usually have for a button, in this in this case, a click. Or in the case of input, you can type text or whatever you need to do, which is really convenient and uh, saves you uh, a few mappings and uh, another properties. Uh, where is the third table example? Maybe you can show one yeah. of the most like uh, powerful features and is how you can get all of the items, uh, you know, uh, through the get items method where instead of you know writing expressions for each particular cell, the get items method converts all of the cells to, to a list of C sharp objects. In this case in two list, then you can work as a normal C sharp list. And then um, yeah and then you can easily compare them to your expected data and uh, sort all of its properties. Uh, for, for in this example, uh, we're getting one of the first employee's expected data and we're comparing it to the first row. You don't need to uh, look in the, in the row and in the HTML, you have the object uh, as output and you can compare them right away. Yeah, and or you can assert the whole table. Or yeah, you can give it uh, the whole collection of your expected data and then assert the whole table. This will go through all the rows and verify all the entries in there. Yes, I think uh, now, uh, of course, uh, Anton mentioned that the release will be the next week. Yeah. So yeah, you will be able to, yes. So all of you will, you will be able to try the getting started and the documentation and you will see all the, uh, the whole feature because now we are, we should continue with the agenda. That would be well documented that uh, you can see uh, like all the cases and all the usages that you can yeah, sure. do with it as usual. Yeah, we can proceed the visual testing verification. Okay, okay. Uh, we didn't give much time to this feature, but it's really powerful and it's really useful in many cases. Uh, like in this case, uh, we have created a test that is using the interaction servers to bring out the print screen of this grid. I'll just simulate it really quick. Control plus P. Then you have this screen, and uh, you, you want to verify that the PDF that's generated is correct and the, the, the grid stays intact. How do you verify it if you don't have this feature? Simply, it's really hard. But uh, what we have as a new feature is that screen, uh, screen uh, class, which can be used with an ensure is visible method. What it does is it has an image that contains the expected uh, data, the expected image that you need to verify, and it's looking for it on your screen. Yeah, basically you just, you know, this particular image, we created the screenshot of ourselves, like only on the, this part of the PDF that you want to verify, you just add it to the project and uh, embed it to the project. And then when you use this ensure is visible assertion, it will you know check with some kind of a similarity in machine learning whether this particular image is equal to the actual uh, screen. Um, and it is much more than that actually. We'll just show in this particular like uh, usage, yeah. but actually you can use it to like for example click. Uh, on the Visual Studio stuff or uh, the Windows button or any kind of visual thing on the on the screen. Any visual direction. Yeah, screen. you can drag and drop, you can uh, enter a text into the text field, etc. Uh, 
as said you as mentioned uh, by Martin, uh, you will see all these uh, examples uh, in our documentation and get started.